Oh, they're all over this branch. Howdy! This is Ellen Weatherhold here in the Children's Garden at the Tulsa Botanic Garden. And today we're going to talk about a common pest that we have here in the Children's Garden. So I'm standing in front of a beautiful double take pink storm quince. And it has beautiful double pink blossoms all over it here in the next couple of weeks. It's usually in full bloom when the tulips are in bloom. So something that we have seen over the years that I have started looking out for every spring are Eastern tent caterpillar webworms. So one of the distinctive ways that things that I look for when I'm scouting for them, they have a very silvery egg pouch. See how they're, it's very shiny and silvery, kind of like a gunmetal. And this actually is the egg pouch that the moth lays in the spring and it lives on in this form the eggs just live there all winter and they hatch out in the spring so something that i noticed today i was scouting to see if there were any more um, i noticed that some of them had actually started to hatch so they had like a web covering over them like this one it's not nearly as shiny anymore it's got that webbing over it and this one here actually has the the caterpillars on the stem. You might be able to see them crawling. So these little caterpillars are very small right now because they've just hatched, but they will travel all over this quince to find leaves. So not too long from now, this will be covered in blooms and beautiful tender young leaves. And so one of the things that we do before it turns into a webworm infestation is we just go in and we cut the branch just underneath the egg pouch cluster. So we're just basically cutting them out of the tree. So we just keep looking on all the branches, kind of scouting out to see if we've missed any. We've noticed that they're often on the very sunny side of the shrub. So we're on the side that gets the most sun here. And it looks like we may have cut them all out. But another thing that we do is sometimes you can just, just crumble it off. So it's very brittle. The egg case is very brittle. And so if you're really attached or if it's a miniature quince, you can just pick it right off. And then I would just throw that away. All those eggs and those caterpillars. I wouldn't put it in my compost because I don't want to see them again. So I throw them away. So this is one of our common pests here at the garden and we try to keep an eye out for things like this so that we can stop the problem before it gets too big because once it does get much bigger and it engulfs your whole shrub it's uh it's pretty disappointing because you're missing out on the blooms and it's not very pretty and then you have to get the spray out so we try to do everything we can to just catch it early so these were eastern tent caterpillars and go out in your yard right now if you've got flowering shrubs and you have webworms, they're hatching right now.